Hi, uh, welcome back to our channel. So yeah, uh, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, how to start a poultry farm, you know, and the things that you need and the cost that it might cost you to start your poultry farm. So because uh, this is the question that I get all the time, like how much did it cost you for you to build your poultry farm structure and how much it costs for you to buy the bears and all those things. In case somebody is deciding to go into poultry farming, you know, because uh, there's a lot that goes into this, and uh, I want to give that information out, how much we co it costs us to do ours and all of that. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to give an estimate of the things that we have to buy to set up the structure on our on our farm, you know. And uh, before I even did this audio, I also compare this with other people, like how much they spend to build their structure for their poultry farm. And, uh, yeah. It's all the, about the same. Like there's no difference. Like I thought I was I was going crazy when uh, I was first giving my estimate. But all right, here we go. So this is not included with the, the land. Is not included in this estimate that I'm about to give. So uh, so to uh, starting up a poultry farm, first of all, you have to buy all the materials. So I'm going to go through this list and. Uh, on our farm, we try to use uh, some natural mat materials, the local materials, uh, to be part of what we did. So I will talk about some few local materials, and there are some things that I, I will talk about that I will, I, will, I will probably like say that you can use an alternate uh, material to do. So there are some things like maybe like the wire mesh and all those things. I will give those things like what you can use in place of that. So here, yeah, here we go. So I'm going to give the prices in ranges since, uh, you know, uh, prices always differ so that you don't go and start fighting with somebody because they give you a different price. So I will give prices in between, like, uh, maybe if it's, a, if it's a thousand that I spend, I'll probably say, like, between a thousand and a thousand five hundred Ghana. You know, this, this is going to be in Ghana cities. And I will probably, after everything, I'll probably convert everything into dollars. Then you, people will have an idea about how, uh, the like in the dollar range, they will not have an idea if somebody's thinking about setting up their poultry farm and stuff. So the materials that we bought for our farm, so I'm going to start with the carpentry part. Like if you start in that. So on the carpentry part, we bought this uh, wood called a raffia. So this structure that I'm going to give is probably going to be within the range of, if he's starting a poultry farm of about 30 by 120 or about 50 by 150, 150 side. So this is that range over there. So if you're doing like 30 by 120 or 50 by 150, it will work for you if you figure it out right and manage your materials. So here we go. So for the raffia alone, we spent, you're probably going to spend anywhere from 4,000 Ghana to about 5,000 Ghana to get in the raffia materials. You know, because you use the raffia for the poles to stand up. You will see it in our structure. Like you use them because the raffia is very, very strong. So you spend about that much, about 5,000, 4,000 Ghana to about 5,000 Ghana to get in the raffia. And uh, the wood, like you probably you need like two by two by six wood. Probably need anywhere from like a hundred to one hundred and fifty of those materials. The two by six wood, and the raffia, the one, the first one that I said, you probably need anywhere from two hundred pieces to about two hundred and fifty pieces of those raffia to uh, to build uh, the poles. So, for the two by six. You're probably going to spend anywhere from 4,500 Ghana to about 6,000 Ghana to get the two by six for that structure. Uh, and also, you need two by two wood. So, the two by two, you probably need anywhere from 100 pieces to about 130 pieces of the two by two wood. Because you know? you, once you get to the roof, you need something like that to, uh, for the roofing to get on for the roofing sheet to get on your structure. So the two by two, you probably spend about anywhere from 7,000 Ghana to about 15,000 Ghana, depending on your location. That's why I'm giving the ranges of the things because in this range, that's how much I bought mine for. 
for those things. So, so when we come by like to the nails, you have to buy nails for your structure. So on the nails, you're probably going to need anywhere from 30 packets of nails to about 40 packets of nails to finish your structure. And the nails is probably going to cost you about 1,500 a Ghana to about 2,000 Ghana to get all the nails to finish your structure. So, and the nails, they have different kind of nails. So they have like the four inch nails and they have the three inch nails. So the four inch nail was what you probably need about 30 to about 40 pack. And uh, the three inch nail, you probably need about 10 to 15 of those. So the, the four inch nail will probably cost you 1,500 to about 2,000 Ghana. And the three inch nail will probably cost you about like 700 to about 900 Ghana to buy them. You need about 15 of packets of those three inch nails. And for the roofing nails, you probably need probably need about uh, 30 packets or about 40 packets for the roofing nails, which will probably going to cost you about 1,000 to about 1,500 Ghana to buy the roofing nails. And uh, the roofing sheets are very, very expensive. That is the part that probably spend, you probably spend a lot of money on. And the roofing sheet, they have different sizes for them. So the the roofing sheet, you probably need anywhere from 30 bundles to about 35 packets. You know, those they buy them in packets and they come in bundles. So you probably that's how much you probably need. And that 30 30 pack 30 to about 35 packet will probably cost you anywhere from 10,000 to about 16,000 Ghana to buy them. You know. And uh, on this part over here, uh, I'm going to mention bamboo and wire mesh, you know. So if you, you can go for bamboo to fence your your poultry farm. So when you're going for bamboo, you probably spend less money on bamboo, but it takes a lot of nails to do bamboo work. But if you're buying wire mesh, it takes a less nails to do the wire mesh. But the wire meshes are more expensive than the bamboo. You know, so let's say if you go to, you can combine both of them, maybe half of each, you know. So if you combine half of each, you could probably spend about 2,000 Ghana to about 3,500 Ghana to get the bamboo that you need, you know. Then uh, if you are going for uh, the wire mesh, you probably spend about 9,000 Ghana to about 10,500 Ghana. Uh, to get the wire mesh, so about seven thousand to about uh, ten thousand five hundred Ghana, you know. And uh, with all, all of these, like, let me talk about the wire mesh a little bit and the wood. So the wire mesh, the most people do uh, everything with the wire mesh and forget about the bamboo. But if you're going to try to do the the wire mesh. You just have to make sure that you buy the ones that will last for a long time since some of them are not coated and they will rust within a short time you know so within the like with bamboo it's very very cheap you can use a lot of it to fence the whole structure but the bamboo too you have to treat them with chemicals you know because Wooden structure, if you don't treat them, termites are going to eat them. So that's the reason why I want to explain this too, because the wire mesh, the prices depend on the quality the, the quality that you are buying. All right, let's move on. So you can use bamboo or wire mesh. And so between the bamboo and the wire mesh, if you're using both of them together, you could probably spend anywhere from 9,000 Ghana to about... 15,000 Ghana if you're using both of them. But if you're using the wire mesh alone, you probably spend about 7,000 Ghana to about 10,000 Ghana. Yeah. So, and also, <clears throat> there's one uh, wood that we bought. It's called the tick, the tick pole. So we, we bought about 100 pieces of them. The tick tree is a really strong tree. We use them for the, for the pillars. <clears throat> so, we spend, we have to buy about a hundred pieces of those. So the hundred pieces of those, you probably need 
anywhere from 2,000 Ghana to about 3,500 Ghana to buy the the tick poles. And with all of these, you need transportation. You probably spend about maybe like a thousand Ghana, you know, taking things here and there and buying things, you know. And uh, after you, you set up your structure, you know, uh, usually you have to keep the heat inside the structure for the for the bears to be comfortable. So we buy this polythene bag, like a bag, plastic bag, you know, like a tap a tarpaulin to cover the whole building and we open it up once in a while for air. It probably cost, it probably going to cost you about maybe like a hundred Ghana to about 200 Ghana to get those things. Those things are not that expensive, you know. But after all of these, you know, the carpenter parts alone, you, you, you have to pay for the workmanship for the carpenter and that depends on the location that you are. The location alone would, it, would determine like all your prices. And I, I do believe it ranges from anywhere from uh, 10,000 Ghana. I would say 7,000 Ghana to about like 13,000 Ghana. Just look through there for the, all the carpentry work because uh, it depends on the location. If you are in Accra, you probably pay more. If you are in the village, you probably pay less, maybe 5,000 Ghana, something or less. You know, so the workmanship is, those are the, for the carpenter part. You know, and for the mason part, you know, you're going to have to get uh, the foundation of the structure. You have to make the blocks to build your structure and all of that. And that is when the mason comes in. Because the mason have to do all of these before the carpenter comes in. Or the, you can do the you can do the pillars before the mason start. It's up to you. But the mason work alone, you probably spend about anywhere from like uh, anywhere from 5,000 Ghana to about 15,000 Ghana, going back and forth, buying sand, like a trip of sand, you know. You probably need about maybe 10 to about 30 trip of sand in between the 10 to about 30. It's a long range. Because sometimes when after you build a structure, you have to fill the structure with a lot of sand to level it up. It depends on the location that you might be. You know, so if you are somewhere that the land is really good, you probably spend less, like maybe about seven trips of sand to build your whole thing. But if you are somewhere that the land is a lot of potholes and stuff, you're probably going to spend more on the sand. You know, also you need the sand for molding the blocks and stuff, you know. So that, in my budget range, we spend anywhere from about 7,000 Ghana to about, like, 15,000 Ghana, you know, so just, you can do the ranges, like, you can do those calculations in there, you know, and figure something out with your mason. You also need gravels. The gravels is what you're going to use to cement inside the building. And the gravels alone, you're probably going to need anywhere from like five trips to about 10 trips, depending on the nature of the land, same thing. You know, the gravels will make your structure strong, very, very strong. You could probably spend anywhere from 5,000 Ghana to about 10,000 Ghana on on gravels alone, depending on the nature of your land and how strong you want your structure to be. You know, because everybody, everyone is different. Some people might want a, a structure that, like, uh, that will last them for a few years so that they can make their money, their money very, very quick. Other people don't even care about what they, like, the strength of the structure. They just want to get their business going. Yeah, so after the structure, after you buy all the blocks, uh, the all the gravels and the sand, you know, you need to buy cement. And cement is a lot of money. You know, right right now, one bag of cement is from about 35 cities to about 40 cities in Ghana, depending on your location, you know. And you're probably going to need anywhere from like 100 bags of cement to about 300 back of cement, depending on how strong you want your structure to be. So that would depend on the person, you know. So you could probably spend anywhere from like uh, 5,000 Ghana to about 12,000 Ghana buying cement, you know, because all of these that I'm giving you, I had to do that. I spent all those money buying these kind of things and we had to make adjustment to fit, to fit our budget. But some of them, you 
there's no way you can skip them. You have to do them. See, like the cement, you need them. So anywhere from 5,000 Ghana to about 12,000 Ghana worth of cement, you will have to buy them. And plus, you have to pay, after you buy the cement, you have to pay the people who are going to mold your blocks. Those are the workmanship. They'll probably charge you anywhere from 1,000 Ghana to about 2,000 Ghana for you to get all the all the blocks whether you need to set up your foundation. And beside that, you need water, you need transportation. Those are little, little things here and there. They probably, water and transportation for cement probably cost you maybe about a thousand Ghana in addition. You know, plus all of these, you have to pay the mason, his workmanship. The workmanship for the mason alone ranges from location to, see, somebody might take about 3,000 Ghana to about 7,000 Ghana within that range to build the foundation for you and cement the whole place and the walls and everything for you, you know. So with all of this calculation, this will be the final one. So the work machine for the mason and with all of this put together, you know, according to my estimate, you are looking anywhere from 30,000 Ghana to about 45,000 Ghana to set up the structure, you know. So like, you are looking somewhere in dollars, you are looking about anywhere from $11,000 to about $20,000 to set up the structure alone. And this is not included with, you know, after you set up the structure, you need the poly tank. You need a tank to store your water. You need a brooding light for the chickens. You need the feeders for the chickens to eat in. You need the drinkers for them to drink in, you know. So with all of these like the feeder, the drinkers, and and the and the poly tank, like you, you're probably looking about fifteen thousand Ghana, because the poly tank alone in Ghana, about maybe like a, I think a ten thousand liters of poly tank is about seven thousand Ghana, you know. In the brooding light, one over there is about a hundred Ghana. You probably need about ten of them for your brooding room for the chicken. You know, in the feeders, I think one is about 30 cities, and you probably need a lot of them for if you're setting up a structure of maybe uh, uh, about 50 by 150 or 30 by 120, which will probably hold about 3,000 beds or a little bit more. You know, and uh, in, beside all of these, you have to do the wiring for your structure. Then after the wiring, then you have to bring light over there to the location or you have to buy a generator and buy gas all the time, you know. So with all of this calculation put together, I would say you're looking at anywhere from $11,000 to about $20,000 to finish the structure alone. Then if you are building your structure somewhere far away from the city, you probably have to build a farmhouse for the people to live in. And that alone is a different cost for setting up that structure, you know. So in all, I would say that with the farmhouse, everything, if, you, if you're going to start something like that, you are looking somewhere from like, it depends on how you want your farmhouse to be. If, if you want it to be somewhere that you can live in, like a nice place, you, you yeah, that you're probably looking at like anywhere from like uh, $25,000 to about, forty thousand dollars to start up the whole project you know because you want a farmhouse which will probably be like anywhere from in ghana city i'll probably say anywhere from sixty thousand ghana depending on if you want the, just a chicken coop alone but if you want a, chicken, a, a farmhouse so you're looking at sixty thousand ghana to about two hundred thousand ghana if you add in the house to it to live in there on the farm you know, so in all, just if you're budgeting in dollars, just you probably need about fifty thousand dollars with a farmhouse included. You know, but if you're looking at your farmhouse, your your poultry farm alone, you can budget around twenty thousand to about twenty five thousand to get a nice decent structure for your farm. So I hope this will help somebody out. You know. To uh, whenever they are trying to set up their poultry farm, 
and uh, thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions about how things will go and stuff or any on any of any material please just leave your comment and let me know what you think you know and uh, we will respond to your message so please like the video share it and subscribe thank you